the colleagues uh, here and our colleagues online. Uh, we are very happy uh, to be uh, here in Israel. For us, uh, as uh, we talked yesterday and, and the first day, uh, it's a very interesting experience. And we are understanding a lot of issues related to the, the projects. And my idea was to uh, talk about uh, this uh, idea of pedagogical model for the inclusion. Um, we know that uh, it's a big task, and I think in 20 minutes it will be impossible to, <laughs> to respond to uh, this uh, big uh, question about uh, the pedagogical model. But uh, I would like to um, talk about uh, some ideas and common challenge that uh, I think uh, in this day we, we saw. Um, I think there is five uh, main ideas for me, uh, your ideas, it's our ideas now, and challenges uh, as a basis for a possible uh, pedagogical uh, um, model. When I say pedagogical, uh, sometimes we have uh, uh, differences uh, with the, uh, uh, this, uh, the meaning of uh, pedagogical. Uh, when I say pedagogical, for me, it's, <clears throat> Uh, the way to uh, keep our experiences and to build a net in order to, um, to keep these challenges and to work with these uh, challenges. So uh, I'm talking about a little bit theory. We need the theory uh, as, a, as a net. Uh, and I'm talking about your experience also. So I would like, I don't know, it's, it's a, as I say, uh, it's a big question. And, and, uh, and I think in the next months or years, uh, for me, it will be a challenge and very interesting to think about uh, the, the pedagogy, uh, the pedagogical model of our, our uh, project. But I think we have a very, some, something very interesting to, to see. So common challenges. The first challenge uh, we saw, it's the student economic and social background. Um, in that point, uh, we talk about uh, no ICT at home, but also uh, emotional uh, questions uh, related to this seven pound, uh, point also, student cultural background, uh, emotional, uh, when, for example, we have a student who don't want to uh, put the camera on, no? Because it's a shame. Uh, so it's, uh, I think, very related, uh, I'm a, a French uh, sociologist and anthropologist. So for, for me, there is a clear relation with the social class also. It's cultural, yes, but there is uh, elements related to the social class and the poverty, we can, we can say it. So there is an economical problem also. And this is a clear challenge in distance learning. In South America and in Spain, um, we see this uh, problem, this uh, economical and sociological, and sorry, social problem as a problem of um, uh, access. Uh, the family don't have any, any ICT in their, ho in their house, as you, I think you see here also. So um, this idea of uh, I'm shy because I never spoke in front of people outside my family, this is also a cultural, but also for me, an economic and social background. We can uh, start uh, thinking about the theory if we take, for example, the action categories of Bourdieu. It's not the place to talk about Bourdieu because Bourdieu is a very um, deep, uh, but um, some, some, just some word. Uh, this idea of, uh, and Nama, in uh, your intervention, you talk about it a little bit, this idea of structure versus, or uh, again, uh, individu uh, in the, in the, uh, the, the person. So um, the structure and the social and economical structure and cultural structure, uh, and uh, so also the uh, gender, we forget the gender, uh, not in these days, but normally we forget the gender questions. But this structure, and in other, uh, and, and, and uh, in another part, the person. So the relation between the structure and, and the person. 
it will be very, very interesting to, to look for uh, a way to systematize our, our way to think about it. The digital inequality and the digital literacy, they are clearly a, a, a common challenge in our, our project. Um, three more challenges, the accessibility. When, and this idea is very interesting for us from Europe. Make academia accessible. This idea was uh, related, I understand, uh, for example, to different points. Uh, first, the organization and the way you organize the groups uh, you are working. Small groups, big groups. Um, this is a question related to the accessibility that is very important and interesting. Student awareness, uh, Nama uh, uh, talk, talk about uh, also the, the oh, we, 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 we saw that the awareness was important. Um, and uh, this idea of awareness and enhancement. Um, and the, the, the way that we can look, um, uh, look the way to, uh, to motivate the students. So the students to support also uh, was a, a very interesting point that we talked about it yesterday. Um, and finally, the learning and participation barriers. My dear Nama, you talk about it. <laughs> Uh, with uh, this uh, uh, Booth and ESCO, which is the Bible of inclusion uh, in, uh, in the education, uh, and this idea of the difficulty to deal with the academic life, so the soft skill. I think it's uh, another challenge for our, our project. Finally, those challenge, uh, two challenges more, the need of contact with the community of students. It's important, and we saw that uh, during the pandemic, it was a, it was an issue, and finally this idea, uh, our our friend or you are not here, no, okay, or uh, I I love this idea of or yesterday um, to build a public space for the minorities' expression, so to consider the virtual space as a public space for the minorities' expression is beautiful. Uh, and that, I, I think it's a, it's a clear challenge for, for our project. Around these uh, five um, challenges, there is some ideas, just uh, ideas like, uh, yeah, first ideas. And uh, I think it appears some kind of ethic point. Uh, I will use the Spanish word acompañar. Acompañar is very beautiful uh, in Spanish. The idea of acompañar is to give support to somebody. So uh, the etymology is very interesting, is share time and space with someone else. So this idea of to give the support, acompañar uh, the students, uh, I think it's a possible pathway for, for our, our project. Acompañar as, as a very uh, central work we need when we give the feedback, for example, when we look for the way to meet the students um, with this distance uh, learning program, the feedback during the, during the course. So I think it, it will be interesting to, to take this point also. And finally, we had a common theoretical model. We just uh, talked about the UDL, but the cell uh, social uh, emotional learning is very interesting also. Uh, they are uh, very close and there is a lot of common uh, elements. So we have some uh, theoretical model in order to organize how we have to do it. And this is, uh, I think, um, or it will be my, <laughs> my stone uh, uh, today for the project. Uh, I think we are, uh, we have the possibility to look for uh, uh, this or, or to, to work around this uh, net for our, our actions and our uh, theoretical model of learning. And this is an ethic. So I propose a, an ethic approach for our project, take care of somebody. We need a pedagogical design of education with technologies first, that's it for me. The, so uh, we need it. Okay, perfect. 
So we need an ethical foundation of our project, a clear ethical project. And I propose, or I share with you this idea of the educational process as a process of being together and meet you. This is the idea of Proceso de Encuentro, defended by Valverde Molina, which is a, a social educator in, in Spain. He works a lot with uh, um, disabilities, but also he works with uh, uh, people with uh, drugs problems, etc., etc. So uh, being together and meet you uh, as an ethical basis for our actions. Um, related to this point, the three C, the three C, it's in in, a, in a Spanish, uh, conocer. Uh, so know the person. Uh, as a, a program, uh, when I say know the person, uh, person I say uh, look for his language uh, in order to use his word for teaching him. Take the word of the person in order to, to teach after to this person. Respect his language because his language is the key for uh, teaching. Understand his emotion as a second point. Um, the difference is natural, uh, and the way to deal with it, with these differences, are not. So we need to look uh, for uh, an anthropological uh, base in our relation, and this is your integrity, the integrity of the student, his face, your face, and your presence, the relation. And finally, share with your students. Um, this idea of um, sharing uh, my, my integrity with you. If I'm working with you, I need to share with you something more that a relation, uh, professional relation. We are first, uh, as I say, Valverde uh, de Molina, we, are, uh, we need to give support for the individual uh, autonomy of the students. We are first a bed, he said, is very interesting. Then a wheelchair, then a cane, then help to walk and then disappear. It's our, <laughs> our, our, our work as, a, as an educator to disappear finally uh, in order to uh, build this autonomy. So this is a, like a, a, an idea of um, a base, a ethical base. And finally, we need to come back to Levinas' ethic of caring. Levinas, uh, I, I think, here in Israel is, is known, it's a Jewish uh, uh, philosopher. Um, he's French, actually. He lives uh, all the Second World War uh, with uh, all the terrible situation of the Jewish in, in Europe. And he, he, he developed this idea of ethic of caring, uh, this idea of the Caring, it's not just um, a construction, it's the, the first point. Your face and, and our relation is the base of our morality. This is the idea of basically the Levinas. But also John, John uh, Toronto's caring, this idea more uh, from the feminism that, uh, okay, we have a, a natural morality, the human being, because I can see you and we have a relation and I respect you and you respect me, but also it's a public sphere construction. So is related the ethic to the capacity we, we will have to build the, the, the public sphere. So this is uh, another base, uh, it's, it's a little bit different uh, related to the, the first paper, uh, way to think of Levinas, but uh, it's another uh, other idea related to the, the, the ethic basis. And finally, uh, this is by uh, my father, Paulo Freire. Paulo Freire said that uh, we need an education for building equality based on the opportunity of uh, the, the opportunity uh, and accessibility. Teaching is not about transferring knowledge, but it's more about creating the condition for its production or construction. This is a, a Paulo Freire, um, this uh, Paulo Freire writes about uh, uh, 
the this idea of construction and help and, and give the words to the students in order to help them for the construction of the learning. And finally, this idea of uh, is, is from the pedagogy of the autonomy. So uh, this is my presentation for today. I think it's very open and we, we should uh, have time to talk uh, about it. But uh, I think it's very necessary and it will be fantastic to, uh, be, uh, to build this uh, theoretical net in order to keep our experience in order to uh, why not transform uh, our 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 way to teaching and uh, and to propose why not a new uh, model 